Have you ever wanted to macro in the background or use multiple Roblox accounts at once without having to set up a complicated RDP? Because in today's video, I'll be showing you how to set up and install RDP without the complicated troubleshooting process while making it work in both Windows 10 or 11 with Home and Pro. So watch this video all the way until the end and let's get started. But before anything, this guide was made by CPDX4 on Discord and the full doc will be in the first link in the description below. So the first thing that you want to do is check if your device is compatible or not. Now to do that, simply click the Windows key, then search for WinVer and click Run Command. And as you can see, I have Windows 11 Pro. Now you can have Windows 11 or 10 and it could be Home or Pro, so both are fine. Anyways, for the second step, you got to check your hardware. Now simply go to your taskbar, click Task Manager, go to performance and click memory and as you can see I have 16 gigabytes of RAM now you must have at least 8 gigabytes of RAM because RDP is very RAM dependent and for your GPU you should have something like a GTX 1050 Ti so it can actually run smoothly and for your CPU it should be above 2 gigahertz now the first thing that you want to do to actually install the RDP is set up the file and set up the account now all you have to do is click the second link in the description which is this and copy the full code and after that's done, click the Windows key, search for Windows PowerShell, the PowerShell, and as you can see, Windows PowerShell. Now make sure you run this as administrator, allow it, and there you go. Now simply just paste the entire code, enter, give it a second, and as you can see, it says enter a username. Now all you have to do is just uh, give a username, so I'm just going to say test, and for the password, I'm just going to say test1. Enter. Enter to continue. And boom, it's done. Now, for your second step, you need to actually install RDP Wrapper itself. To do that, go into the description and click the third link, and you're gonna see this GitHub page. Now, simply click RDP Wrap.zip, download it, and put it in your downloads and save. Now, your browser may actually block it, so depending on your browser, which I am now using Brave, click these dots, then go to settings, privacy and security, security. Then turn off Save Browsing to no protection. Turn it off and then download it again. Put it in your downloads and save. And as you can see, it's fully saved. Now go to your files and go to downloads. And as you can see, the file is here. Now click it once, then click Extract All. And make sure you untick this. Then click Browse and scroll all the way down until you find this PC. Then click Local Disk C. Then go to Program Files, and then scroll until you find RDP Wrapper. And as you can see, here is RDP Wrapper. Click it, then click Select Folder, and Extract. Click Continue. And there you go, it's fully installed. Now for your third step, you need to actually install Auto Update for RDP. Simply go into the description again, and click the fourth link. Then click this. Enter, and it's gonna download instantly. Now let me just download it, and close the website. Then open up my files, downloads, and you're gonna see how to update. Now we're gonna do the same thing, but we're gonna actually take this on. So take it on, then browse, scroll all the way down, this PC, local disk C, program files, then find our DP wrapper. And install it here. Extract continue and there you go now just make sure you actually see this auto update right click then run as administrator then click run yes and as you can see it's actually gonna start downloading now so give it some time and it's gonna be done and there you go everything is now ready to go and finally, you're almost done with RDP. Now all you have to do is actually use Remote Desktop Plus, which you're gonna find in the description in the fifth link. Simply go there and download the latest version. And then put it in your desktop, click save, and it's gonna be downloaded. Simply open it up. And as you can see, it's now working. Now click Manage Profiles, then click Add. And from the username that you used in PowerShell, you're just gonna put it here. For me, it was test. Test again. Then put the password, which was test1. And test1. 
and there you go okay and close now one final thing is click this arrow next to connect manage profiles add put the name again which was test then this is going to be pinned in the first comment as you can see just simply switch out the username to your name which was test so i'm just going to put test and i'm going to put test now make sure there are no spaces in here or in the name or in anything else and make sure it's fully clean then click save with the highest security and click ok then click create shortcut and now test is on your desktop now let me just close all of this and if i click test rdp is gonna open and finally it's working for you hopefully give it a moment And there you go. Now you actually have to set up Windows, so it's going to be a quick step. So let me set it up real quick. And boom, there you go. Now everything is working just as intended. You have Google, you have all your browsers, and you can now install Roblox, you can install Nature Macro, and you can just minimize it and do anything you want on your actual main desktop here. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and I hope everything was easy to understand and actually do. So, oh, it's actually still loading. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please subscribe if you want to. And if you have any questions, leave it in the comments and just let me know. You can join my Discord server to ask any questions. And make sure you check the first comment so you can see any type of uh, solutions or anything you have for your problems. And yeah, that's it. So, see ya.